Hey, how you doing everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tide and today I want to talk about Nashatar. In 8.2 we got uh, two new zones. We got Nashatar and Mechagon. Um, I'm going to save Mechagon for another video because I haven't explored it enough to give a full opinion. But Nashatar I've played it in quite a bit. So going in, I just want to talk about how I feel and my opinions on it. 8.2 has been a breath of fresh air for Battle for Azeroth, considering that we've had months and months of nothing, and the base systems in BFA weren't exactly great to begin with. So 8.2 really can only go up from here. Surprisingly, it did pretty well. I think Blizzard's going in the right direction in terms of future content for a while, as long as they keep pushing out the quality of content that they have for 8.2. Uh, it seems like a lot of work went into this patch. The writing for the story introductory part of Nashatar isn't great. It's a bit silly with how they try to handle Ashara preventing us from leaving Nashatar, even though, you know, Oculus makes a portal anyway. It seems a little wonky at first. Once you start getting into the questing, it balances out quite a bit with some pretty interesting lore with what happened to the city and the drowning of all the elves. The story in Nashatar isn't great, but the delivery of the quest content and of the lore is pretty good in my opinion. The zone is pretty big for what I expected. I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, it it kind of rivals the size of Argus and that's not even counting that you also have Mechagon to go to. I feel like the mob density isn't too bad in most areas. There are some spots where the mobs are really really packed in but they're those are more like caves or like tight alleyways through like coral and stuff but there's a lot of like really open areas too where there's really not a lot of mobs. I don't really find myself being stopped by a mob every 10 seconds so I can definitely say that I'm enjoying that part. Unfortunately a lot of BFA's flaws still shine through even though Nashatar is such a pretty zone. It really sucks that we haven't gotten any real class development, um, nothing's really changed but they already said they're not going to change anything until 9.0. 8.2 did add essences for the Heart of Azeroth which are like abilities and as you level up your your Heart of Azeroth you learn passives that work with these abilities. And you can swap them out pretty much as much as you want as long as you go to the Heart Forge to do so. You can collect essences through varying kinds of content. I'm not going to dive into it really deep, but you can get them from the Nashatar uh, reps. You can also get them from PvP as well as Mythic Plus and Rating and so on. They are pretty cool because they do add a new clickable ability. Like you do get something active from it, which is kind of nice. I have to see how the other ones play before I can give my full opinion. I like having a pretty long range attack on a paladin. Uh, I'm not really sure where they're going to go with the system, but if they continue to innovate and give it new ways of functioning, then maybe we can see some pretty cool stuff with it. So what I like about Nashatar is that it's not really world quest heavy like uh, Kul Tiris and Zandalar are. There are a few world quests that spawn on the map and they are pretty far away, which is lame. You can tell that the devs team's goal wasn't to make you run around and do world quests the whole time, but, but rather to do daily quests that you receive back at the hub for your respective faction. I like that they're kind of returning to the more daily quest centric focus where I feel like it's very easy to know what you're going to do when you get there rather than flying around and just doing whatever the event says you have to do. And you can tell that they were really going for uh, a more discovery feel in this patch where you kind of look around and find things that you can interact with rather than the map telling you what you should interact with. And I can definitely agree with that and that's a pretty good method of moving forward with WoW content. So the Benthic gear, I 100% agree with. It's super cool. Just tokens that give you a piece of gear. There's only a few types of pieces that it can turn out to be, so the RNG isn't as heavy. And then once you have them, you can spend mana pearls to upgrade them, kind of like you did in uh, Mist of Pandaria, where you're able to get a direct upgrade for your gear. And I like this because it kind of uh, overwrites the need to have to search for a specific piece of gear constantly. And I think they're pretty fun too, because they have like little effects on them that work within Ashar's raid, as well as the Nashatar zone. So one big upgrade here is that the treasures that you find in the zone are no longer worthless. And by that I mean in Zandalar and Kul Tiris, a lot of the chests you find had a bunch of greys in them that you can just sell and they were really lame and boring. But in this zone, they actually have more items that you can use as consumables, as well as mana pearls and stuff like that. The followers that you get for your faction on the horde, you get three of the little giblin guys. And at first, I was a little turned off by the whole follower and Giblin idea because I don't really like followers and I also don't like the Giblins, but, you know, they kind of grew on me. I think they're pretty cute. Neri in specific, who is like the main driving character for the Unshackled faction, um, is really cute and she's really nice to interact with. But while you're walking around doing your quests with your follower, she 
talks to you about what she knows in certain zones and even when you do like follow her quests she has stuff to say i like that that little bit of like side lore that's it's just fun doesn't really doesn't really have anything to do with the main story arc there's a few events that happen in Najatar which are kind of cool because we haven't really seen any zone-wide events in a long time aside from the faction assaults but in Najatar there's three of them uh, two of them are exclusive to war mode on and war mode off and I'll get to that in a second the first one that you can encounter uh, naturally is called summon from the depths and a random pack of elite mobs spawn in some part of the Najatar map and once you kill them all it summons a boss I haven't done the event myself yet. I've seen I've seen it and read about it, um, so I'm not sure if the boss drops any loot or maybe he drops Bentha gear or something. But I'm not super sure. What I have done though is the battle for Najatar, which is essentially a war mode only zone wide world PvP event where the Horde and the Alliance fight for these separate points on the map. There's like five of them. Basically, grab resources in the same way you do in Arathi Basin while you hold down the flags. You get points and you're awarded with these commendations these uh, Najatar battle tokens which awards pets mounts and stuff like that which can be found in your faction hub for the zone the other one is called ashar's elite commanders which is a war mode off only event yeah which basically has you fighting some of ashar's strongest commanders and i'm not really sure how that goes because i don't play with war mode off but i imagine it might be somewhat interesting at least so with that being said, I can definitely say that I, I enjoy 8.2 so far. I think Najatar is a pretty cool zone. It's not exactly a whole game changer. I wouldn't say this is going to save BFA, but it certainly makes the expansion a lot more interesting and I'm much more interested in playing it, opposed to how I was before where I wasn't really logging in very much. I'm really looking forward to PvPing in Season 3, which is coming out in a few weeks with Operation Mechagon and the Ashara's Palace Raid. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be jumping in pretty deep into that. But all in all, I hope you guys are enjoying Nazjatar as much as I am because I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys found this video entertaining and I appreciate you watching. Uh, leave me a like. If you have anything you want to say about the zone, let's have a conversation. Let's talk about it. You can go ahead and leave me a comment. And thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram where I post some WoW related stuff as well as some personal related stuff just for fun. And thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. And have a great day. Peace. Peace.